Hello guys and welcome to Electro Fags YouTube channel with myself James Bensey aka The Bearded Bensey. So last week we did the VatWiz Plux 25 kit. This week we're going to have a look at Inakin's new Proton kit. So again, from last time what we're going to do is we're going to pop across, we'll have a little in-depth look at everything up close and personal, then we'll pop back and we'll give a little overview of the product. So I shall see you in a second. Okay guys, so this is the Anakin Proton box, so let's have a look at the back. So, we have a look inside, start with the accessories pack. You have your spare o-ring set, just in case you need one of those. You have your USB lead. And you have your warranty and instruction manuals just tucked away in here. With all your little battery guides, little Anakin stickers and everything else you may need. And there's your warranty card, let's just turn that upside down. And it can do, do the best warranty cards. And in this one, you have a little overview of what you get. So with this kit, it does come with the Scion 2 tank. So let's have a look at that one. So I'm using this one currently. So this is the Scion 2 tank. Now a lot of you will remember the Scion tank originally had a screw on lid, which was a massive bugbear for me. It is a fantastic tank, but that old lid, it just wasn't cutting the mustard. I'm very thankful that now Inakin have changed this to a slide lid for greater simplicity. And in my opinion, makes the tank operate a hell of a lot better without having to change that. Obviously, we're still using the same coils from the original Sion tank. However, this does come with the Plexus coil, which we will have a look at in a second. As you can see, I've got my liquid in there. At the moment, I think I'm on London Licks Grime, which is a lemon and lime, which vaping at 100 watts is absolutely sensational, especially with this particular coil that we have in. Let's just have a quick look at the mod itself. So here it is, this is the Inakin Proton. Now you can see one of the major differences with this one, it doesn't actually have any buttons. We have a little joystick, which I'm not gonna lie, when I first seen it, I thought, oh, here we go, we're going gimmicky. But it's not, it's really easy to use. Just three clicks, takes you into your menu. And you press your fire button, which is now the full bar. Or you can press and hold to change your wattages. And then it'll cycle through them. There are a lot of people online in other reviews saying that they've had problems with their joystick. Up to now, I haven't found any problems with the joystick on this. I've had this now for about a week. So still plenty of time for me to come across those issues, but still not come across them yet. But the ease and simplicity of this little joystick is amazing. And you can see there it supports your usual temperature control mode. So it supports stainless steel, nickel, and titanium wire. You also have a bypass feature on there as well. As you can see, I'm operating at the moment at 100 watts and it is absolutely amazing. And then just an all round look at the design of this kit. So again, we're on a dual 18650. And Inakin have done very, very, very well with this particular product. I'm massively impressed. So that's just a brief overlook of those. So as we were saying, you get a spare glass because I've got the bubble glass fitted on mine a spare drip tip, and this is the thing that I wanted to have a little bit of a close-up look at. This is the Plexus coil. So after doing some research on the Plexus, I don't know whether you can see it properly in there. It's like a mesh, but slightly different to what you'd see on any normal mesh coil. Now, Inakin are saying that this particular coil lasts up to three and a half times longer than a standard coil. So, as I'm yet to try the Plexus, I will do an updated review on it uh, and give a review on the Plexus coil itself and the flavor production, the cloud production of that. So, we'll do that one at a later date. So, we're going to pop back now and we're going to have a look at the kit properly. See you in a second. So again guys, now we've just had a quick look, this is what it looks like all pieced together. So as we were saying a minute ago, I'm currently vaping at 100 watts on London Licks Grime liquid. 
this coil is handling it rather well. Like I said before, I, I like testing that first coil, just because I want to know what they can handle, and so far this is handling everything that I've thrown at it. This is the fourth liquid that this has had in this particular coil, so I have changed them purposely to see what liquid does, how many times you can get away with it, and again, I will do that with the Plexus coil on an updated review at a later time. But for now, let's just go through, let's just change this a second. There we go. So we'll just change the way that it fires a little bit. So this is what you get with the Proton kit. And as I was alluding to earlier, the Scion tank is an amazing tank and always has been an amazing tank. However, the bugbear from the original Scion tank was that screw on lid. Something I didn't agree with because I don't think a plastic cap goes with a metal tank. It just doesn't work for me. But this, now they've changed it to a slide and lock system, is a hell of a lot nicer. I also think that the airflow on this one has been redesigned as well. So the airflow is a lot cleaner and a lot less restrictive. Also, as daft as it sounds, I don't know whether you can quite catch this clicking, so I'm going to hold it up a little bit. It's a nice subtle little click on that airflow. To me, that makes a massive difference because I know what I'm doing. Yes, all airflows are the same. They all open, they all close. We get that. But the point is, it's just an added extra little bit of quality and it's something that a massive lover behind is that quality. And as daft as that sounds, just that little click on an airflow makes a world of difference to you when you purchase a kit. So we'll go back to this and we'll see what it vapes like. Obviously, it does fire pretty much instantaneously. Which, a lot of mods do have a slight delay. I don't know the exact timings on the delay on this one, but it does fire really, really, really fast. So, this is running at 100 watts. That flavour... A lot of people will tell you that the flavour diminishes in a tank. And yeah, with some liquids, flavour does diminish in a tank. This, however, does not diminish any flavour whatsoever. It tastes like I've literally just dropped the bottle on my hand. That may be slightly different for me because I don't vape with nicotine. But that's what I look for in a tank. And currently, since getting the Cyan 2 tank, I haven't used any other tank whatsoever. I still have a dripper, but... I will not use another tank at the moment until I find one that competes with the Scion 2 tank. That's how much I love this tank. It is insane. And again, I'll go back to that tank and with the Plexus coil at a later date and we'll have a look at that. But these are all available in all Electrofag outlets. That's us in Ellesmere Port, our store in Wigan, the one in Liscard and the one in Smithdown Road in Liverpool. As well as the website, which unfortunately, because I haven't got used to doing this yet, the website isn't above my head, but it is electrofag.co.uk. So that's it for this time around, guys. Uh, hopefully we'll see you next time. And remember, vape on, vape strong, and as always, keep it cloudy.